Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Delos Chevalier, and you're welcome back to Coffee Talk. Let's continue the game, shall we? Where we left. Oh, yes. Lovely nights. Hello, Freya. Welcome. Hey, Pop. Good evening, everyone. Everyone safe and sound tonight? So far, so good, officer. With the cop who's supposed to be watching this area hanging out in the coffee shop? I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. Georgie. I just love multitasking, you know. That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. Oh, yep, I'm gonna put down the volume. That's an oxymoron. That's why I say I it requires skill. Anyway, Jose, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, wait a minute, I want to... First we have new things here. Rachel. I'm rich in Florencia, you might have seen me in just scream singing, dancing, we hardly see that. I love my family, cats, milk, and you know. And you! I have been dancing, singing, and trying to achieve my dreams since I was 13. 13. And I'm not stopping now. Good for you. Henry. Family music, trying to be a better father while running a record store. A store. Good. Hi, Supermall. What's new in the brew pad? Oh, sugar and spice. Natural bliss in a cup. Okay, but I want to see the stories. Oh, this is shorter. This might be the last one. Happily Ever After, Ever After, Ever After, Part 3 by Freya Fatima, October 4th, 2020. Romeo comes awake with a gasp, his mind already whirling and he tr as he tries to wake up to make sense of what he's, uh, what's happening. Was it just a dream? He's, he thinks. Please forgive him, re dear readers, he's barely awake. He has no idea how or when he got home, but he's still wearing yesterday's clothes, and he experienced the unwashed, uncomfortable feeling that comes with making with waking after falling asleep fully dressed, then he remembers. Juliet, what happened to her? He rifles through blankets and pockets until he finds his cell phone and immediately fires off a message to her. He won't admit it. Will barely remember it through the haze of panic, but he spent the next 14 minutes and 10 seconds staring fixedly, fixedly at it until it vibrates in his hand and he drops it to the floor. Romeo, Juliet's voice is muffled by the carpet, but, does, but he doesn't think he's ever been so relieved to hear it. Where are you? Are you, are you right? I'm fine. What about you? I'm okay. I'm. We need to talk. Something definitely different. Romeo opens his mouth to agree before he re even realizes how he feels. He's been so wasted, 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 wasted down. Oh shit! I I feel dizzy. I'm uh, better now. Wicked down by his feelings for a long that he hadn't noticed that something changed until Juliet broke broke it up. Waking up has been bad for so long, but today, today he feels different. Today he feels good. Oh yeah, Romeo, you feel good. When Romeo arrives at the coffee shop, Juliet is already there. She waits while he orders an Americano, patiently sipping her orange juice until he joins he joins her. So, Romeo says as he sits himself opposite to Juliet. What happened last night? She shrugs, shakes her head, the picture of honest confusion. I'm not sure, but I feel kind of light when I woke up this morning. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I feel like part of me is missing. She nods in agreement and they are quiet for, some, for a time. Juliet plays with her straw the paper melting quickly in the icy remains of her drink. Do you... She trails off and tries again. Do you actually remember what happened last night? 
Kind of. Romeo frowns and grimaces. I'm not sure though. How do you feel about me now? asks Juliet. He pauses to consider. I don't know. I still like you, a lot in fact, but it's certainly a different kind of feeling to, to the last few months. That's exactly how I feel. He signs explosively. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? I'm asking the same thing. Nothing happened the last time. They just kissed. Juliet leaned in, hold his gaze, lower her voice. I'm not sure myself, but I have this theory. Maybe, and I know it sounds wild, but hear me out. Just maybe. The parts of us that fell in love with the other somehow left us last night. They separated themselves from this world, making their own where time loops and exactly moment over and over and over again. Oh! So we're going to the fantastic route with this history. Romeo looks in her eye without blinking for a long moment, then bursts out laughing. You're a complete madwoman, you know that? That that's that's just you're not even the one who likes sci-fi and fantasy. Oh shut it, boyo. She sh he she hops at him and crosses her arms as she leans back. No no, seriously, we he waves a hand at her. The fact that the theory came out of your mouth is crazier than this story theory than the theory itself. Her lip twitches and then she's laughed in with him, and for a glorious moment, the air is filled with pure and uncomplicated good humor. When she, the laughter wins down, they each find that they can't stop grinning at the others and it's beautiful and just like it used to be. A tough occurs to Romeo, and he opens his mouth and Juliet immediately points a finger at him. Shut up. He closes his mouth, his mouth but keeps grinding. Can't help up in surrender. You can't say it is impossible though, she defends herself with a right wry shrug. Romeo tilts his head, nothing is impossible. So what now? What now what? I mean what happens to us now? He looks around and shrugs. We just live normally I guess, it's been months if not eons since I could talk to you normally like this and honestly it feels awesome. She laughs and it's so much easier than it has been for a long in a long time. Yeah, yeah, I know, she smiles at him. So we are good then? We are better than good, I guess, answers Romeo. Good point, Juliet nods. Well made. After that, life goes on for Romeo and Juliet. They are still good friends. They both found their loves, the one who shares their interest that doesn't force them to sacrifice too many things in life, yet still make them feel like the happiest person on earth. They grow old together, as good friends, not as lovers. And what about the Romeo and Juliet who burn in with love for each other? Readers, I will let tell you, that couple is still sitting on their bench in the park on that clear and perfect night, and they will stay there until the end of time. They have created their own world without other people meddling, judging, forcing compromises. For the rest of eternity, they will have each other and their pure, naive young love, and nothing will ever change that. Some people say that, on a clear night with the promise of down rain, when a milky way flows across the sky and the full moon hangs low, you can see a young couple sitting on a bench in the park, but only out of the corner of your eye, and only if you have room for romance in your soul. It is true, you ask me? Does it matter, I reply. Surely, it doesn't matter to anyone else on earth. And it certainly doesn't matter to them. I kinda don't like the ending, but I like it anyway. <laughs> okay, that was a nice story. Thank you, thank you, Freya. Brew the espresso for the officer. Espresso. Serve it. An energetic espresso to keep our officer upright on patrol. Hey, you and your sense of humor. Your espressos are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. It's not a competition, officer. <laughs> it is for her. She thought if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinding about? 
I made it. You were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row. As if the gods were trying to give me first-hand experience to use in my story. Still fretting over your story, huh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh, yeah. How's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise, honestly, I am pretty confident. Best of luck, then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? For the werewolf case, I spoke to Gal about it. What? Are you going to rest him? Some officers at the precinct were talking about it. But in the end, we agreed not to do it. Because he really helped out that night. We asked the folks in the hospital and some other people in the area. Without him, we would have had a lot more problems. He helped a lot, getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So those who'd rather detain him can't do anything anyway. Phew! Yeah, they'd be pretty mad at you if you if they did arrest him. <coughs> hey, being mad at me won't do solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure about myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened at, out near Coachella. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far. But he wouldn't be able to walk it, not in that state. So far, that's all I know. Oh, Rachel! Rachel! Rachel? Is Mr. Henry alright? Before that, could I have a cup of hot chocolate bar dark? Hot chocolate dark. Dark chocolate, serve. Your hot chocolate is ready. Thank you. That's going to be fine. He woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala. He got help fast... Uh, father, and father and daughter. Oh, okay. He got help fast enough to stop things getting worse. He's okay then. He's doing okay then? It will take a few days before he fully recovers. But no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know. But still... It's all because of me. Because I didn't listen to him. When all he wanted to do was protect me. Oh, Rachel. Don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take, off take offense. But it is okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital. His friends are there at the moment. And I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really need to get away from it for a bit. So I told that I'm going to visit Coffee Talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel, what really happened last night? Got into a fight with some talks. He heard them talking about me. In some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh. He didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form and started a fight with the dogs. Why did he morph? Yeah, that's a good question. Why did he morph? So people would see what his human form looked like and link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify and they managed to find the dogs. Are they fans of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. Oh god. What? 
Oh boy. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. What? Because the party went too far last night. Whoa! How did it all connect up? They are Mr. Last Dan Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about, about guys and locker room talk, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing. And it was the topic of discussion. Ugh. So, there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad he wasn't there. Once again, I owe my dad for... Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch. But he's still way more experienced than me. And he's, and he's my father. I wish mom was here. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to say to dad when he's recovered. You know what? I'm sure you will know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. All I know is that I have to be here, there for him when... That's it. That's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear about... To hear it about something coming from Freya. But she's right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whatever you need a break or fresh air, a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. Guys, thank you. I have had enough fresh air for one night, for one day. I will go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speed recovery. Thank you, Jose. Bye bye. Man. What a week. What a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyways, I have to go, go to continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Georgie. Okay then, see you. Are you going to leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. I have enough rest. And I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Huh. Alright. I won't bother you then. Oh, you never will bother. Besides, this whole book project will never have existed without this place. And you. So thank you. The pleasure was mine. Now, I'm sure you shouldn't spend any more time on the chit-chat. You got a book, a book to finish. <laughs> no problem, boss. Black magic. Sweet, cold and majestic wakes you up. That's chocolate with mint. Okay. Ah, and, gin and honey. Honey and mint. Two weeks later, wow, we jump. We made a really big jump. Coachella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. More women have spoken out and claiming more is less their light. Oh shit. Initial reports indicate possible herpes outbreak at Coachella. <laughs> oh no. Okay, that's all the time I have for today. I believe the next episode is gonna be the final episode. I'm not sure, but maybe, because there is two weeks later. Thank you very much everybody for watching. I hope you have a blast. I was the Los Chevalier, signing out. Bye bye!